Well, if you lived during this time, or you grew up during this time, you could clearly see that Lil Wayne's career was brought to another level when he started hanging out with Dipset. But to be fair, Lil Wayne gave Dipset the, a couple tips in the rap game as well. The whole Cash Money crew gave Dipset a different kind of money swagger during this time as well, okay? We're gonna break this down, but Lil Wayne career, even though we, you know, it's attributed that Lil Wayne, his work ethic really got him to where he's at today, because if you don't put the work in, you don't get to where you're at. But that Dipset cosign and just being around them, like just brought things to another level for Lil Wayne, and then he became like an ultimate superstar right around the Carter two time. All right, let's get into this. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to ask in the channel, it's JordanTowerMedia at gmail.com. Little Wayne, he, like, down south, people didn't really, like, they looked to New York to figure out how to dress and everything at one point. You know, like, Dipset had it on Smash. They changed the whole swagger of the music game. You know, like, you know, they were wearing, like, skull heads and, you know, did Dipset brought like a rock type of fashion to the game at the same time. You know, Dipset was undeniably one of the biggest crews in the game. They had their their finger on the pulse of everything. You know, they were they were messing with Atlanta, they were messing with Memphis. They had the Scissor song with 36 Mafia. And around 2005, 4 5, Joel Santana and Lil Wayne were good friends. Now, there's a couple things they got from each other here. Now, Jewels started making a lot more money when he was hanging out with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne took him on tour, showed him how to get money. There's one thing the South knows how to do is tour and get money, okay? People in New York always had trouble getting money and going on tour for some reason, but they control back then they control what was going on with rap still. You know, in the early 2000s, I'm talking about like 2000, 2006, it started to change a little bit and went back down to Atlanta or went to Atlanta, I should say. Um, but anyways, Lil Wayne also got, like, okay, so Dipset had the best jewelry as well. But Lil Wayne and Joel's like, kind of like collabed on jewelry. They had like the same type of snake chains and everything. And so Joel's jewelry game was stepped up as well at this time. And same with Cameron and everything. Like, they, they had different connects on jewelry. Because for some reason in the South, they can get jewelry for better prices, you know. So, Lil Wayne also was dropping more, like, mixtapes. Because uh, Dipset was, like, doing the the mixtape game. Jewels was dropping Cook Crack series, Back Like Cook Crack and all that. They, they were making a ton of money off of, you know, DVDs, CDs, everything. Mixtapes. So, Lil Wayne got... His clothing, like, he learned how to, like, dress better, talk, have different type talk game. It was just better all the way around. So Lil Wayne, his career was brought to another level around Carter Two, And then, you know, obviously when Carter Three arrived, he was officially a superstar, you know? So they both shared a lot. Like, Joel's whole car game got stepped up. He was having phantoms and all that kind of stuff. Instead of just like a Nissan, I forget what he had. He had some two-door Nissan before that. Cameron kind of like was just the the Don, you know what I mean? Like so, like he didn't take anything really from uh, Little Wayne or anything. It was mostly Jewels and Little Wayne. Like there were the young guys and their crews: Cash Money, Little Wayne, Jewel Santana, Dipset. So they shared a lot in common, but. We got to agree that Lil Wayne's career was, you know, sometimes that cosign just gets you over the hill. And that's what, you know, like it, New York embraced Lil Wayne more. Before it was like, we didn't take Lil Wayne seriously. But once he started doing songs with Dipset and everything, you started to see the lyrical part of Lil Wayne in New York. You know, and that meant a lot back then. I know now you're like, well, who cares? You know, like there are no borders anymore. There's no where you're from. It just is what it is. But back then, the internet wasn't so prominent. It was more still on DVDs and CDs and everything. So, anyways, this is just a little, you know, conversation piece below. Talk about it. Um, I appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll come with more news videos in a little bit. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell and the subscribe button. And if you want to add to the channel, it's Media at gmail.com.